So the first question I have to ask, because you have a new haircut. I do. Do we, do we get to a scene where maybe you try and cut the hair, or do we get an explanation about how you cut Sadly, your hair? Sadly, we don't, but I do know how it happens. Oh, how does it happen? Because this is how Clark Kent also shaves. She, she laser beams into a mirror, which reflects back and cuts it. And that's how he shaves his stubble, apparently. Yep. Okay. That's what I've been told. I'm really glad you have the answer for that. <laughs> So, a few times now, you've been able to address Supergirl's motto on the show. Right. Um, and I've got it right here. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> help and so, how does getting that motto out into the world feel to you? Because it's, it's a very new motto, but it's very good for her. I think it's the most important aspect of our show and our responsibility to do so and I think that is part of the reason that we went so topical last season and really addressed it. We, I think our show is always stronger when we go and when we lean into politics a little more because it is so ingrained I think in Superman and Supergirl's identity. What about directing? I'm very excited. I'm really <laughs> looking forward to it. We have such a great group of cast and crew and producers and I'm just, I feel very supported and a little bit terrified and I'm, 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 I'm happy it's happening. And Melissa's actually been quietly making some music videos on set. I have, and I have, oh my God, and I have seen, um, Have you seen that? Yes, yeah, that's, I think that's where you got the job. <laughs> that was my pitch? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> sense of where you feel the power as a character left off in season four. Yeah. So that what the journey is for season five, not for spoilers, but as a person, how should you go? I'm just always concerned because we get to, I'm so fortunate in my character arc that I, I get to do so much on this show. Um, I'm never really wishing that I could do something as a character, so I'm always just concerned that she keeps evolving as a woman, we keep exploring femininity and, and what it means to be a woman in today's world and how women interact with each other and their relationships and just across the board too how she interacts with everyone and empowerment so as long as that is a trajectory that's growing up and, and forward I'm happy. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I was very, I, I was I think, very happy with the skirt for a long time, but I think it'll be good. I think when we moved to Vancouver, I, I think the skirt became slightly less practical in the winter months. Yeah. Um, but I think yeah. also we, one of the things that's so great about the show is we really watched Kara grow up. I don't think growing up is something that only happens when you're a kid. I think it continues to happen your whole life, and so it feels symbolically like a nice, um, as she's standing in her power. Because pants are more comfortable. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. We just wrapped it. What can we tease? <laughs> I mean, I think that something we can tease it. It's not. It's not a huge spoiler, but really central is uh, Lena's reaction yeah. to the reveal of, of who Kara is and that betrayal, which is really justified and fair for her to have, but what she's going to do with it, I think, is going to be a, a very intense for, for everyone. Yeah. Have you guys noticed any changes uh, in schedule now that crisis is coming? Uh, <laughs> the schedule? Because <laughs> you've, got, you've got to film nine or eight episodes, and then there's this movie you have to film. Yeah, yeah. Is, is there any change? this season because of how big every every season there is it is a uh, first there's the kind of Jenga of all these showrunners getting together and breaking the story and then there is all of our incredible crews all of our line producers production managers at, like ADs figuring out how to do this because it is the most complicated uh, scheduling nightmare you can imagine yeah. um, so but what's good is like every year it's gotten bigger because we've really we learn from what we've done and we kind of learn how to do it better and I don't even remember if we shut down the other shows the first year. I mean, it was really insane. Like it, so we're learning every time. Thanks.